shit. It's a thousand. Right? Spin that shit. Spin that shit. Spin that shit. Should you come? Spin the check and get it right back. What's going on guys it's your boy easy tv bringing you guys another division 2 video i know by the gameplay you guys are looking to see what kind of build i actually have right now um i told you guys that i was working on another ar build the build that i put out previous to this uh was a different variation of this build this was like completely raw damage it's not really built around talents it does have berserk um berserk and devastating but it doesn't have like my other build head um berserk i think devastating spark bloodlust so i know there's ways you can get more damage out of this build but i already built one of those if you guys want to see that build i will put the link in the description for that but Without further ado, let's get into the build. So I'm running a dual FAMAS, double FAMAS build. There is things that you can do to this build to make it better. I always tell you guys, this is a template. Do, do not always copy and paste. Do not always copy and paste from any content creator because when you, when you copy and paste, sometimes the build doesn't work out the way that you, you know, that you saw it work out for someone else. Everyone has different play styles. This is basically a non meta build because right now we know meta is like negotiators, dilemma, stinger hive, bleed builds, uh, shotgun. So this is kind of away from that. But at the same time, this thing actually shreds and you guys saw the footage. That was just a little bit of footage. Uh, and some of the footage that I actually had, um, the only way that I died was like in a 3v1. I was almost on the manhunt. Three people came out. I killed two of them and the third one actually got me. So this bill actually does hit very hard. And to be honest with this bill, um, you want to start off playing at a distance because you're using Ranger on the FAMAS. You don't have to use Ranger if you don't want to. Me personally, I would use Ranger. And then my secondary has close and personal for close quarter combat uh, fighting. So when I'm, you know, people's all in your face or running down with shotguns or hives or whatever, you will use this one because with close quarter, um, uh, close and personal, it says killing a target within seven meters grants 50% weapon damage for 10 seconds. So you can get a major, major buff from this build. All right. So let me get into the breakdown and show you guys what you can do better to this build. Number one, I'm running a Mirakami 
mask all right it has health and total health on it the the health on it is okay the total health is fine the only thing that i would change about this mask is that i would want to run uh perfect concussion or concussion if you guys have it all right me personally i don't have a Mirakami mask that i can swap concussion on to because i already roll health on it but if you guys want to you guys can go with um perfect concussion in a sense and it says it says headshots grant plus 20 percent uh headshot damage for two to five seconds with marksman rifle so for two seconds with any other gun with marksman rifle it's five seconds and uh concussion is actually very devastating when you can get consistent headshots it will shred you within a blink of an eye so that's what you will want on that so your ideal mask will be maybe a murakami mask with the the total uh health roll and health rolled on it and like perfect concussion or concussion on it if you guys don't want to go with that you can go with anything else you want to but you you can't go into a lot of stuff that's like pvp wise like you can get this one headshot kills grant status effect immunity for 30 seconds which is not bad at all because this actually helps against bleed and all the other any type of status effect you be you are immune to it all right the chest piece is a berserk chest piece you have total armor 15 percent weapon damage and 32,000 armor the one thing that i do want to change about this build is i do have chest pieces with 30 uh percent total armor on it you could get this build easily to like 450k i can gain at least roughly around almost 100k armor if i had the correct rolls with this build so your ideal chest piece would be 30 percent total armor which i have a lot of people don't have that they sold it back in the, um back in the day or whatever but it has 15 percent weapon damage on it and 32,000 armor with berserk and it has two uh all, not two offensive two defensive mod slots and then a six percent basically five percent assault rifle damage and one percent damage basically six in total for assault rifle damage now as i always told you guys before and i all, i made a video about it there's many different ways you can run berserk you can run berserk with high armor you can run with berserk with okay armor and decent amount of health like this one i prefer berserk like this and then you can run berserk with very low armor and high health to get the maximum amount of damage all right so we have a gila holster that gives me health and another total health on that this is like almost kind of like the gyro that you can get i have one that's like 50k but i want to make i want to have that for another build uh, i actually has 50k health on the holster but i want to use that for another build and then that has a 6.6 percent all in total uh assault rifle or assault rifle damage and weapon damage on that and then the other one has a 5.5 which is 5% assault rifle damage and 0.5% weapon damage. So these are really, really good mods. And the reason why I went with a two, um, with a, um, basically a Gila holster is because it gives you two reds. As you guys can see, you can go with like a true Patriot if you want to, and you guys don't have Gila, or you can go with the aces and eights. These things, these all three of these give you three, uh, two defensive mod slots. So you can use anything that you actually want all right so now with the backpack once again it's gila and this is kind of one of my weakest backpacks the armor is very low and the health is low the thing i will also change about this build is i will take away the thirteen thousand health you really don't need the thirteen thousand health i will actually roll my 20 percent armor on this backpack and then enroll and have another high roll of armor on here this was would basically would take you to the 400 over the 400k range of armor and still having around a hundred and like 20 128k 129k uh health so it has nine percent weapon damage on it it has hardened and spark spark is not active because you need nine or more reds now if you can squeeze out two more offensive mod slots then you will have more damage from this build from using spark me personally i don't care about using spark with this build because i already made a spark build which is very crazy like i said that link will be in the description so once again we have six in total on the mod five percent on assault rifle damage and one percent on the weapon damage and then there's the armor 
mod for that. And then the gloves, once again, are Mirakami. You don't have to go with Mirakami. Uh, if you guys don't want to, you guys can go with something else. Um, some people like using Alps. Uh, you can go with more Gila if you want to. Uh, you can use whatever you want to. Me personally, I have Mirakami gloves and these gloves can also be better. Now, the gloves that I had before, which I told you guys in another video that I deleted by accident, it actually had 13% assault rifle damage on the gloves and those came from the motherly love uh, gloves that you get from the tech uh, stage. I believe it's tech stage two or tech stage three is one of them. I, I believe it's tech tech stage two and you can um uh, basically roll those gloves and craft them and sometimes a lot of the times they come with 13 percent of whatever you know class attribute so it'd be 13 percent lmg damage 13 percent um smg damage assault rifle damage shotgun damage but i actually deleted those by accident all right so your ideal gloves would be Gloves that have assault rifle and health on it, you can go with like 13% is the max. And then my other gloves that I did have on as well had over 10,000 health. So with that being said, if I did have those gloves, I would be over 150K health as well with those gloves with devastating on the glove. So that would be your ideal gloves right there. They don't have to be Murakami. They can be something completely different as long as they have the health and assault rifle damage were devastating. You are fine, all right? So with the knee pads, I'm running at least one piece ferris so you can get that additional 10% assault rifle damage. It has 12% total armor on it. It has surge on it, which gives you 20% skill haste, which I don't mind that at all because it come back just a little bit faster. And then it also has cloaked. When your armor is depleted, nearby enemy skills are disrupted for 10 seconds can occur once every 30 seconds. So as you guys gonna see that you guys saw in some of the footage, sometimes when they took my armor down, I played them, I played in two different ways. If you guys notice in that footage or wanna go back in that footage, sometimes I purposely let them knock my armor down and deplete my armor, not completely, but deplete my armor so I can get berserk the proc so I can have a high amount of damage just to being from a distance. And then also you guys was you all you guys also saw that I used the the gunner. Okay, the gunner class where I will pop our gunner med kit and then I will push. All right. So I was 2v1 in those guys, but you know, you can do whatever you want to. You don't have to use gunner. You can use um survivalist, it's very good as well for med kit. But with cloaked, once they knock my armor off and it's completely depleted. Um, anything that's around in that area, it disrupts it. So if they have hive, it disrupts the hive. It disrupts everything and they can't use their skills. So that's why I also like cloaked as well. So as you guys can see, the stats right now uh, is 21, 21, 6 on weapon damage. PVP is 14, 850. Uh, and then if you guys come down, you guys can see the 30% Weapon, 33% uh, all around weapon damage and 56%. Uh, so you're looking at about 89% on assault rifle damage, just raw damage. This is without reserve procs. Now, that being said, the 89% that you guys actually see can be actually calculated with, um, let's say, where is it? You have Ranger. Um, that, that that doesn't include Ranger. So with Ranger, every five meters, you are 2% weapon damage. So, you know, you can be over plus 90 something percent when you're using Ranger. Um, you, get, you, you get an additional 2% from weapon damage at five meters. And then at 10 meters, you get 4%. At 20 meters, you get 6%. And at 30 meters, which after 30 meters, I believe the uh, it drops off, um, you get another buff of damage so that is very good right there and then you can also calculate this in with berserk if you can get perfect berserk and have a good chest piece like this then you are all fine to go but if you can't really you know get berserk or I mean a perfect berserk or anything like that i would not hemorrhage my bill for a perfect talent that does not complete or fit my bill so be mindful 
of when you guys are trying to run these perfect talents don't always try to build into um basically uh perfect talents and it's going to mess up your build all right that's really it with the build i hope you guys did enjoy the breakdown in the gameplay of this build like i said i showed my stats you can get crazy amounts of damage from this especially if you go ahead shot damage here um the concussion a perfect concussion if you want to go into more reds you can go there and you can proc spark you get 15 percent weapon damage from there so that'll put you over like a hundred percent um a hundred percent weapon damage right there there's different things that you can do with this build you can run bloodlust if you want to i'm pretty sure you can run bloodlust as you guys see right here on this holster that's another 15 percent weapon damage right there but like i said i already made a build like that so i will have that link in the description but always guys leave a thumbs up on the video if you have any questions leave a comment down below if you're new to the channel hit that sub button the notification button it's your boy easy tv y'all have a blessed day and i'm out